Today we're taking a look at the Mark II version of the Leica M to Sony E-mount Pronto Autofocus Adapter. Now, if you haven't heard about this adapter before, uh, basically it has a Leica M mount on the front, a Sony E-mount on the back. So you mount a Leica M lens on the front, mount it on a Sony E-mount camera, turn it on, and just like that, you have full autofocus on a fully manual lens. That's right, you can take vintage lenses, lenses that are even 100 years old, and with the inclusion of this Pronto adapter, you can get full autofocus functionality. The way it works is pretty simple. The adapter has a motor in it that pushes the lens in and out, and it's communicating with the autofocus system in your Sony E-mount camera. So when you press, it's moving the lens back and forth to focus it on your subject. Now, some people might ask, well, wait a second, don't you have to turn the focusing barrel of your lens to focus? Well, basically all your focusing barrel is doing when you turn it is doing the same exact thing the Pronto adapter is. It's moving it back and forth. Uh, it's just doing it through a helicoid process uh, rather than through this motor drive that just moves back and forth. So in reality, the Pronto is just taking over for that function, for that manual function on your manual lens. Now, what if you don't own a Leica M mount lens and you're not planning on getting one, but you still wanna use the Pronto adapter? Well, fortunately, we offer double adapter systems to mount other types of lenses on the Pronto as well. For instance, this is a Pentax K lens and we have it mounted on our Pentax K to Leica M adapter. So then all we have to do is mount this lens and adapter to the Pronto adapter. And there we go, now we have autofocus of a Pentax K-mount lens. And to double adapt with the Pronto is pretty simple. When you order it, just use the drop-down menu to select what type of lens mount you want to use. And for reference, here are all the different lens mount types we currently support for the Pronto. Okay, we got that quick overview of what the Pronto adapter is out of the way. Now let's look at the new features included in the Mark II version of the adapter. The first feature you're gonna see is we have a micro USB port. This means when we come out with new firmware for the adapter, it's easy to update. And the second feature on the Mark II is a function button. This button gives the adapter extra functions that were not available in the original Pronto. Now this function button gives you two extra modes. If you press it once, it pulls the lens all the way back and turns the Pronto adapter into a manual only adapter. This is if you want to turn off the autofocus functionality for a bit and just manually focus. After you've entered manual focus mode, press the button again and the motor drive extends all the way out. And this is also for manual focus, but it's for manual macro focus. Uh, by extending the lens as far as it'll go, it gives you this extra bit of macro focus that you wouldn't be able to get uh, with the lens on a normal adapter. Now, if you press the button again, it goes back to regular manual focus mode. And if you wanna get back to the Pronto's standard autofocus mode, just press and hold the function button for three seconds. And there you go, back to the standard autofocus. You can also program the Pronto Mark II to tell your camera what focal length you're using. Let me show you how. Start with your Sony E-mount camera turned off, hold the function button down and turn the camera on. Release the button after the camera powers on and set the aperture value on your Sony E-mount camera. Different aperture values correlate to common focal lengths of Leica M-mount lenses. Once you set your aperture value, take a photo, then turn the camera off. Wait one second, then turn it back on. Now your Sony E-mount camera knows what focal length lens you're using on the Pronto, and this will help improve autofocus accuracy, as well as giving you more accurate EXIF data. Now, if you're in the middle of a shoot and you decide to switch to a different lens, just repeat these steps to calibrate your camera for the different focal length. Couple more notes, with the Mark II, you are still limited to Sony E-mount cameras that have true phase detection autofocus. Uh, this adapter will not work on Sony cameras that only have contrast detect autofocus. And this is because the Pronto requires phase detect technology to function properly. And currently the Mark II of the Pronto only works in photo mode. Uh, in video mode, it is just not gonna function properly. So on the Sony E-mount version of the Pronto adapter, you can only use it for photography. It's not gonna work in video. Also make sure any lens adapter combo you use weighs 1.3 pounds or less. Heavier setups won't function as well and may risk damaging the Pronto's focus motor. 
Okay, that was a quick look at the new and improved Mark II version of the Leica M to Sony E-mount Pronto Autofocus Adapter. If you'd like to learn more about this adapter and possibly get one for yourself, click the link in the description below and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and happy autofocusing.